<clears throat> well, good Sunday morning, everyone. Steve Watkins here from the new Tranquility Base uh, on Real Foot Lake in Hornbeak, Tennessee. Glad you could come along this morning. You know, I've often wondered where my work fits into the podcasting and broadcasting world. Was never ever really able to pin that down, and I think maybe we found it with these little three-minute devotionals. Anyway, we'll see, and I'm glad that you're here this morning. This morning, I'm going to talk uh, for just a second from Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. It's been one of my favorite verses as an adult because it's had so much application to my life. I want to read it to you for a second, but before I do, I think I'll go ahead and read the verse to you first. Isaiah 43, 18 through 19 says, Forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not even perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. You know, if you follow me at all, um, I've made it no secret that over the last six months, Dana and I have been through a pretty rough stretch. We've ended up in a good place here in Hornbeak on, on Lake Realfoot, but it's been rough. Um, lots of walls, lots of challenges, lots of barriers, and, and they weren't just minor things, and there weren't just a few of them. These were things that that came our way that that forced us into positions to make the kind of changes that are life altering. Um, and I was in a you know, I was in a rough place for a good stretch of that. It just seemed like every time we figured something out, an even bigger barrier or an even bigger wall would come. But we continued to make our way through that. And what I realized in the midst of that was that we weren't figuring out at all. We weren't coming up with the solutions. It was honestly the, the way that these things came about was of a divine nature. And every time a wall or a barrier was thrown at us, God would literally crush that wall or he would make a way around it and create a new thing. It was an amazing thing to experience for us and uh, it was an experience in growing my faith to watch God. You know, you know how you just, you feel like you're in those situations. You feel like you're deep in the woods or deep in the forest and you just can't see your way out. And as the scripture says, God makes a way. He will show you the way out. All he asks is that you have the faith that he will do it. I'm not sure guys where you are at this moment today. Maybe you are facing uh, a difficult health diagnosis you are a member of your family. Maybe there are some financial challenges coming your way. Maybe there is a relationship difficulty in your life. And you have been dealing with that for quite some time and you just don't see the way. I understand it. I've been there 15 years ago. I was chronically depressed for three straight years and I never thought I'd get out of that. God made a way out of the wilderness. If he did that for me, he will do that for you. That is his promise. And it is my testimony to you that he will do it. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you see any value in the, what we're doing here, uh, and I hope you do, I hope it's helpful to you. If you think it might be helpful to your friends, would love it if you would share this with your friends. And maybe we'll build something here. Until tomorrow morning, I'll see you then. Onward. <laughs>